Okay, hi everybody. I thought this might be helpful to people putting together charm sets. Um, I have several videos on charm casting, putting together my initial set. I think I have one where I kind of tweaked that initial set. <clears throat> it's now been an even longer amount of time. And you know, for me, you know, my set is always in flux. So I'm always, you know, finding a new charm that I'm putting in. I'm pulling something out that just doesn't feel like it's uh, I don't know, meshing or gelling well. So it's just constantly in a state of flux. But I feel like um, it's been a, a many enough years that it kind of just needs a good refresh. Um, and so I thought I would go ahead and do that. So this is my current charm casting set. Make sure everything came out of there. And the first thing that I would really recommend to people who are charm casting or want to get into charm casting. Um, and I think I recommended, this is how I started my set, and this is definitely how I recommend uh, people uh, do so, which is to base your set around a, um, I'm trying to pull it up here on my, my uh, little white book of everything, right? Um, here we go. So, this is my little white book. This is the Houses of the uh, Lenormand. And I really find that having a base set uh, surrounding with one for each symbol of the Lenormand uh, cards makes a fantastic way to easily be able to read. And then, of course, you can build from there. Clearly, I have far more than 36 to charms but what this does is give you sort of a place to um, hone in on significators which gives charm casting uh, for me a very different vibe to say oems or runes or my even my journey tokens or something like that it has its own vibe um, and part of that is and feels very much like casting um, a grand tableau so I just tied a piece of string around my ring. Um, and so, uh, I don't know, I just find it to be a great way to have your base. And again, your base is going to grow from there most likely, but it is a good place to start. So I just want to go through and pick those out because some of those have changed over the course of time. I have a lot of little extra doodads. Some of these are duplicate. Some of these are ones that have gone in and out. And so I just kind of keep, these I found have been, uh, these were sent to me graciously. I found these some of these to be a little large for casting, um, but I still sometimes will put, put them in. So I'm just going to kind of, you know, put things out here and see, um, again, first thing, I'm going to start with my, um, my Lenormand set and make sure everything is um, still intact there. Um, and plus, I think maybe this will help for um, uh, other people trying to do the same thing. So I'm going to start, and this is going to obviously not uh, be the easiest. I do have a list of charms um, and kind of where I started from, but I know that I'm pretty far off uh, from that. Uh, I do use the unicorn as my writer card at the or my writer figure um, at the moment. Uh, okay, so then we have the clover. So I have this little clover. I'd had that uh, before I'd ever done anything. Um, we have a ship card is next. I know that I was using, I couldn't find a ship card. Let's see, I guess I should stick something here. Um, because, yeah, I had used this uh, called the journey. However, I believe that, yes, I now have a canoe, which is awesome. Uh, and so I'm going to put that here for right now and put this as a, do I still want to have that in? Um, so I have the ship there. Uh, I have a castle here for the house. I just saw it, but, you know, once you put it down, you're never, ever, ever going to find it again. Oh, my goodness. So here we go. Here's the castle, which is my house. Uh, we have, I'm just turning some things over so I can see them. 
Well, I know these two are my significator cards. This is my child card. <laughs> this is my bouquet. This is my garden. This is my book, although, and my letter, and my bear. Okay, so now I'm I'm getting out of whack. What am I trying to find? I'm finding my tree, which I know my tree has changed uh, a couple times, but I feel like did I pull it out for some reason, and then I didn't end up somehow replacing it. Ooh, that is not good. And this is why I wanted to do this and make sure that I had everything I recently, I remember pulling the tree out for some reason recently. Okay, am I just missing it? I had a, have a really sweet tree. I found this cloud. It's one of my favorite things I've ever found. Obviously, moon, sun, star. Mm, light bulb I love. Um, bird tower yeah see and this is why I'm glad I did this I pulled it out maybe I have it over there maybe I decided it's a little brass one that I quite love but for some reason I do have this vague recollection of pulling it out but I clearly didn't replace it so that's not good all right well we will we will come back had this clover as well but I really like this old clover that I have nope well for right now I'm going to stick this piece in here although that's too big for me so uh, I definitely need to figure out what I did with that tree um, and replace that because that is important uh, to have there. Um, okay, so then we have the clouds, which again, one of my most favorite finds is this clouds. I used, I think I used uh, Aladdin's uh, lamp for that because um, it makes clouds. I just couldn't find the clouds. So I was really excited about that. I have a snake. I used this snake for quite a while because it was the one I could find, but it's a little large. I don't tend to actually really like large pieces, um, and so uh, I found this little snake I have been trying. Uh, this was sent to me. I couldn't find a coffin. I think I used, um, I can't remember. Well, it probably tells me here what I used. Coffin. Uh, a lightning bolt sort of the zap and end it, it didn't really work well but it was what I had sometimes you just make what works as long as you know what it's representing that's all that matters um, and then we have the bouquet Alexa put tree charm on my shopping list just in case I can't find Add it a tree charm to your shopping list. I could do a um, leaf here too but I loved my little tree. I know where I got it from, so I can probably replace it. I've been trying some different bags, and my guess is in the in and the outs of it, I've, I've misplaced it. Anyways, I know I'm obsessing over that. So then we come to the scythe. Now, I've, I've used a couple scythe things. Um, I have scissors, which I love, um, and I have an axe. So I actually like the idea of an axe better than scissors. I do, a lot of times you'll see scissors in Lenormand. I kind of use this little differently, sort of cutting an energetic thread. Um, I like that this is still a, a work implement, like a scythe. And you're chopping wood, but you can, and you're gaining that wood and that fire and all that you're gaining. Um, so to me, the axe works better than the scissors, even though you do see scissors in decks. Um, I don't have a whip, but what I use is this rod. Um, it's a whip or a rod or a broom, and, and this works fine for me. This was, I think, a little set. Some people have sent me things when I've said, "Oh, I don't." I don't know, I don't really have X, Y, Z, or I can't find anything. That's how the coffin was, so that was is really fantastic. So then I have a bird's charm for birds. The child is actually a charm that was off of my grandmother's charm bracelet, which has my name on it and my birth date, and that is my child card. Um, I've gone through a couple foxes. I have this fox, but I currently am using, I just saw it, 
I just saw it. I also have a little hummingbird. I love the bat. Um, my goodness. Oh, do I pull it out? No, 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 no. There's my anchor. Here it is. I, I just really like this little fox. I like both of these, but um, right now I'm using this one as my fox. Um, bear is, I could swap in this, oh, what is this? That's an elephant. I've been using the stag for my bear um, because it's just that um, certainly in Celtic lore, like this would be the kind of feel like bear energy. It's that... Um, sort of stability that's there, that strength that's there, um, that, um, so, so the stag has gone, uh, I could use this, but this feels more like a dog paw, which is probably what it is, so I think I'm going to stick with my stag, I, you know, know it as bear energy, and it works, um, I have the star, um, oh, you know what, I might have used this little boat for the stork. Let me see what I have listed for the stork. See, I've changed so many things up. I use the butterfly for the stork because it's transformation. So the stork is about moving to something better. You're kind of going on your and going into flight. So if you think about a caterpillar going to flight, um, I used that there. Although I could use. The boat kind of is that six of swords moving to a better place. I think I actually like that better because then I can just leave. I do like having this uh, journey um, token, so I could do that. I think I think I like that uh, at the moment. So we're gonna go there, and then we have the dog, which there's the cat. I know I have a. I have a wolf here, but that's not the same. See, this is why every so often doing a little refresh. That's my lily. That's my mountain. Uh, that's my mouse. We'll talk about why. Where did the dog go? I just saw. I wonder. I literally thought I just pulled it out. Um... Well, I can use this one, although that's more of a wolf as well. Um, but I love this particular, this in terms of my, um, oh no, you know what? I forgot, I got a new bear. Here's my dog, here's my dog. I got a new bear, oh, it's right here. I was so happy to find it. Oh, see, this is why. So this is um, a bear charm, it says Mama Bear. And I was so excited to find that, okay. So there we go. There's my bear charm. I might still use this as messages from the other world because that's how I use that in a Celtic sense. Okay, okay, we're we're pulling it back together. Here we have my tower. I have this little, it was just on a, a bracelet or next. I, it was just like in my little miscellaneous junk thing for years. Uh, it's just a, ra a wire wrapped bead, but that's my garden card or garden figure. I just have a little rock for a mountain. Um, I love my pass card. This was actually a, something that was on my dad's military um, insignias uh, for something. And it's that kind of going off in one or two directions, which I love for the paths. Um, I haven't found a mice, which is kind of interesting. Alexa, put mice uh, charm on my shopping list. I've put mice on charm on your shopping list. Um, I feel like I, there's this one section in Hobby Lobby that I may be able to find a mice, a mouse now. Add section in Hobby Lobby oh, to your shopping list. Now she's adding all kinds of stuff. Anyways, I've been using this poison sign um, because it eats away, right? So that makes sense. So that's been my mouse uh, card. Uh, I love this heart charm. I, I don't remember. This was on a necklace or something. Um, and what I like about this is it often kind of encompasses things and tells me what's going on. So I really like that heart. I have an actual ring for a ring, old tarnished ring. Uh, I actually saw a better book. This has not been my favorite of books, but it was what I could find. Alexa, add book charm to my shopping list. 
I've put book charm on your shopping <laughs> we're, we're adding shopping here. Um, I had recently found a book. Uh, and I thought, oh, that would be perfect. But then I was like, oh, I can't, re I couldn't picture the book and whether I wanted to get a new one or not. And so I'm going to pop over there today and replace that. But that's my book. This is my letter. It's probably more like a purse, but it looks like it's folded like a letter. So that is my letter uh, charm. Then I have these little silhouettes. This is a boy and a girl for um, the man and the lady cards. Um, I have this uh, lily here, and then I have the sun, and then I have the moon, I have an actual little key, I have a fish, I have an anchor, and I have my cross is, okay, where, oh, right here. This was just a little necklace charm that has a cross in it, and so that is my cross. So I need to replace my tree or find my tree. Like I just have this, you know how you have that little splurt of a memory that says I remember taking it out for some reason um, and it didn't get replaced for, for, for whatever reason I didn't replace it. Okay, so that is my key Lenormand set. And so what this allows you to do when you cast, especially if you're going to do a full casting and then just go to specific areas, is you can go, if you if you want to do something about a job, I can go look at the anchor, what's around the anchor. If I want to see, you know, what is the way forward to a better position, I can go to the boat and see what is that way forward. Um, if I need to say, okay, is there some decisions to make, I can go to the path, what charms are clumped around this? Where is it at in the location? Um, so it just forms an amazing base to um, to your readings uh, to find to find specific things. Again, I have a, a video on charm casting. This is this video is not how to charm cast, but just to say how could you build up a thing around it. So then I'm looking at what I have, right, to see, make sure I don't have energy that's sort of repeating. I love to have the dice because I can use those for numbers. So I, I love those and I like having three of them. Um, I recently found this, uh, a message in the bottle. Oh, I think I'm going to put that for my letter. Yes. I'm going to use that for my letter. <laughs> um, um, so, yeah, you know, you find different things. Oh, yes, I had... Uh, no, that's Kipper. There's a gift card in Kipper, but I um, like that idea here, so I'm going to leave that in. I found that as well. Oh, here's my tree. Uh, okay, I changed it out. I knew, you know, it's again... It's like my brain was like, I recently had got found a few different things and I was so excited, but where's my old tree? Because I really did like my old tree, so I don't know why I didn't put it back in here. I got one other little box that probably I could have stuck it in. I found this little colored Christmas tree and it was like a set with the gift, this, and I think it's also like a man and a lady, but more in this colorful way. And they were so cute. Um... I, you know, again, randomly put them somewhere. I could also use this as the tree. This is a, a blank card. Ooh, I kind of like this. This is a blank rune. I don't use blank runes, but it's actual, uh, actually a tree growing, which is really gorgeous. So I could use that for um, my tree. But I do like this little because I don't have a lot you know I like to have a variety of things and that has no color or that has some a pop of color um, that we don't I think I still might just use this for weird although to me when you're doing a casting the whole thing is to do with weird so I think I'm going to put it back where it was for now see this is what I think you know thinking things out you know processing through swapping things out because you know when you first start you kind of sometimes have to make certain things work um, until um, until you find something that works even better. Now, uh, this is one of my favorite charms. It's a arrow, and what I love is that I will tend to look and see what, it's almost like a big exclamation point. What is this pointing to? Um, it really shows up in readings well. I love to have uh, that. So that is definitely staying in. Um, I have a hummingbird for those sort of fleeting moments of happiness. There is such a energy and a movement and a, a 
joy about hummingbirds um, that I really like that energy to uh, peek around um, I like this directional again north south east and west sort of where things are facing I really like that um, so that's something that I want to keep in I have this little um, uh, like a witch's hat for me this is just reflective of craft like what are you actually doing and not just what do you believe but what are you actually doing um, because craft for witchcraft for me is far more about the application of of belief so I really have enjoyed that uh, having that particular piece I love this I found which has a little bee and a little honeycomb on here and this is that car, uh, symbol for community um, also can be hard work and things but I love uh, I love that this was a piece that I found I think this was of the same um, company but I love the uh, half half full or half empty because um, this can you know can say something about are you like all in or are you seeing things half full or half empty um, so it kind of goes to state of mind um, I don't know about this one I'm gonna come back to that I'm just kind of going through the ones that I like um, this I just love this little uh, ball um, sort of a, a crystal ball um, but for me, this is about needing to look a little bit deeper, look into something a little bit more. So I do like that. Um, I like this little light bulb. I don't, it says be the light, but for me, it's just that literally that light bulb moment. Like um, something may, you know, you're trying to figure something out. You're going to have that moment or what this is around. So if you have this light bulb moment coming around work or around something, it kind of shows up pretty cool just to see where you might need some illumination as well. So I like that. I've talked about the scissors. I do like the scissors um, because they are about, for me, about kind of cutting an energetic tie. Um, I love these. These were sent to me, a little pair of um, handcuffs. You know, you can see what are you being bound by in some way. Um, I love, love, love that. Um, the camera for me is about new perspectives. It's like a, a change in perspectives that is needed. Um, I really like that. I love the hook. Um, again, what are you caught up on um, is uh, really nice. You've kind of got yourself hung up into a situation that isn't um, all that useful. So I really um, love that hanger. I love the masks, whether that is upright or face up is interesting. Masculine and feminine for the yin and the yang here, depending on where those are flipped I do like that a lot um, so I'm kind of oh I had this big acorn which I love having an acorn um, in my readings but this is kind of it rolls everywhere it doesn't kind of fall very nicely um, but I was recently when I purchased my set of, of runes a mini runes from I want to make sure I get his shop name from the Celtic Knotworks on um, Etsy, um, he gave uh, in with it. There's a little this little acorn charm, and so I have replaced this kind. Of, and again, I like the look of it because it's something different. But I have to say, in terms of reading, it can just kind of go rolling about, and it doesn't feel like it's getting that that hit uh, to land where it's supposed to land. Um, and so I've replaced that with this little acorn um, charm there, which I quite, quite love. So I have that there. Um, um, I still kept the genie lamp because I like the idea of your wishes. Like, right, it is that sense of what is it that you're wishing for? Um, those that that sense there with the genie in the bottle kind of gone back to that. So, so let's. So I'm kind of, and I love the lightning again. Kind of that tower moment is how I use that. Um, that's some more um, to do with uh, guardian energy. So I'm going to think about how I want to use those. Um, just again, I definitely want to keep these. I love how the dice show up. This is sort of the elements and whether things are in balance or not. So when it's flipped over, the five, you know, it has the five pointed. So we've got the five uh, elements there and whether things are all in balance or not. Although we do, the lilies are about balance. So this to me feels a little repetitive. I, I don't feel like this comes up and I'm like, oh, 
Yes, that is exactly. So I think I'm going to take that out for right now. I do feel like it sometimes becomes repetitive to the lilies. Um, let me pull all these animals over here and we'll come back to those. Um, I do like the is time of the essence. I really like having that one there. Um, again, the this is more about the lotus energy. Um, this and this kind of the spiral uh, energy also uh, has a similar connotation. This is also about spiral spiraling down and needing to go deeper um, on sort of. But I use this almost as a significator of sort of our inner space where we do have a lot of outer space significators. This is about what's going on really beneath the surface, um, but this works in the same way. Um, this is actually, so this is a lotus, and um, I've had this all along. In many ways, this works the similar to the scythe, right? Painful situations, difficult situations, what creates the flower, right? Which gives you something that gains back. So I often find the scythe energy and the lotus energy are conflicting. So for right now, I'm going to pull that out um, so that I don't have repetitive uh, energy there. Um, the same thing these two now for me are very similar so we have this illumination of the candelabra this is a newer one so i'm going to leave this one in for right now although i really like this so that that might change um over I, I might end up swapping that in again i have no issues like swapping things in and out um, i quite enjoy it sometimes i'm just in the mood for something else and i sort of process through um things in a different way i do really like this was sent to me this um sort of goddess um, energy here. Um, I don't know that I would use this just for the goddess, but sort of as a divine uh, message, I think I'm gonna put that in to play around with. Um, this for me is representative of the web. It's that collective where we're all, everything is being connected at. Um, although you could say that these may, but I so far these two have not conflicted with energy. And so I'm going to uh, leave those in uh, place. So right now I have, uh, oh, and this is the little hedgehog, which I love. It's kind of a protective, where do you need to be a bit more protective about things and setting boundaries with this little hedgehog. I had this for years just because I wanted to use it for some things. I love hedgehogs and that's in here. So I have obviously 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41. These for me are like 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, around 60 um, things. So these are like animal energies. Um, you know, we, we we have the wisdom that comes here with the owl uh, getting sort of into the flow and the movement the independence with the cat uh, the strength with the um, the stag um, but that's also kind of how the bear I'm going to take this out for right now and I'm not sure about these where things are transforming but that also is very similar um, in many ways to the um, stork card so I, I don't think for right now I'll probably put this in I do love bats because there is again that idea of perspective but I do really like the camera for a fresh perspective so I think for right now I'm gonna pull it out I may see I may have another set to be able to build up um, with animals and things like that um, the, you know I feel like I only need one of these um, dragons and wolves are are for me pathfinders um, guardian energy but we have um, sort of the pathfinder with uh, this here um, so I think I'm going to pull Wolf out for right now. I have other castings that I use that include my uh, kind of totem animals in play. So I don't feel the need to have that necessarily in this uh, working set. But I do like this because this kind of encompasses all animal energy. So I think I'm going to leave that in because that does show up in interesting ways. 
these I'm kind of, I'm not entirely, I think I may do some sort of an animal, you know, I have enough charms to probably put together something else. I do like the heads or tails aspect of a coin, but I kind of have that, or because I used to have the penny in there, um, but this is more yin and yang, and this is a little bit more luck, um, this sort of flipping of the coin. Um, I've missed having a coin in here, so I'm going to add the penny back in. Um, trying to see if there's any other ones that I do I have a couple different lemon scots um, which are kind of cool because they're showing that connective um, energy but I have I think other things that show sort of the connective energy and I would almost have to take this out um, although this may um, connect literal energies together like the divine with the internal so I think maybe I'll play around with that one that this this has been in and out um, uh, as well but I think for me these kind of are the same but this might actually work in how things land a little bit better so I think I'll put that one in instead again this is a nice way to get like a little binder clip things that are clipped together and bound um, but I have that with and I love these so I don't uh, that to me was repetitive so I kind of pulled that out like I have octopus I have a lot of animals so I may go through and um, sort of do uh, a secondary set I had used the ship for a while or, or I think the plane um, but this is a little bit more about quicker journeys um, which I have um, in some ways the stork is about movement as well as the um you know what i might change the plane for my rider because most of our mail is coming through plane services now that seems better than a unicorn so i think i'm going to swap that out because i do love that plane i used that for a while um okay so i think that's it for right now i don't think i i love this mushroom hmm. i feel like i really love that mushroom um, and I love this for sort of plant energy. You know what I could do? I think maybe I'll try this. In my journey token, token system, I, where did that little paw go? Of course, this is why once you lay something down, you will never, ever find it again. <laughs> um, especially with charms. It's so easy for your brain love that little ladybug like I love all these I just like you know I want everything needs to be somewhat concise what did I do with that little paw well here it is so in my uh, journey set uh, I have one card for animal energy one card for uh, plant and one card for crystals oh I can't have both I definitely want the mushroom for plant um, so then I could literally put a little crystal. In fact, I have one. Here are some little red jaspers. Although I think I want to use this in my little rune set. So I think I'm not going to grab that. I know you're like, you are crazy. But this is what it looks like when you're just kind of playing through. Here we go. Here's a little amethyst. There we go. Um, because then when those show up in a significant way, um, I have those three um, energies there, and I could even roll for uh, an animal like I do with my journey tokens. I think that will work in place of having a bunch of different animals. Um, other than, do I still want the hummingbird? This is different because that's about protection. This is about taking, I'm going to leave this for right now because I kind of read that differently than like an animal energy. So I think I'm going to do that. So <laughs> there we go. I don't know how long this is, but this is kind of what it looks like. Like once you start to build up a collection, I'm also kind of wondering, this is a ring that my, I think I might put this ring in. Um, although this is a great just kind of standard ring this is a ring actually that my uh, has some significance here to me my daughter made and it has special engraving in it I think I might put that in for right now um, versus just a random a ring so 
think I'll do that. Okay. Oh, here's those little people. Here's one of the peoples. Like, look at these two little people. The, the boy and the girl. Um, how cute are those? Should I swap those out for the male and the female um, versus the little... I do love the little silhouettes, though. Um, but I think for a little while, I'll flop those out and see how I think about those. Okay. <sighs> so... Uh, again, you could use like a feather for like guardian angel, but I like the um, dragon for that. He has a lot of presents, so I'm going to leave that. I love the eagle. So there's a lot of these animal ones I love, but I think I'm going to do this because that will keep the, the set from getting too overwhelming size-wise, although size doesn't much matter to me. Um, I'm often just going in and grabbing a couple and throwing them, but when I do toss them all out, that's when I really like it to be somewhat manageable. But I'd say mine tend to range between 50 and 60-ish is how my charm set tends to stay in that. Again, we have 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. So I'm at 65 right now. Um, and that's fine. I, I feel pretty comfortable with that because when I cast them all out, I'm not reading every single one. I'm going to specific places as you would with Lenormand. So... Um, I feel pretty good about this, although I wish I hadn't done that because I want to take a picture of sort of where everything is at right now. Um, I just kind of like to keep track um, of what I've got here. But there you go. This is what it looks like. A, you know, again, really my, my recommendation is that if you are wanting to start a charm set, get a list of the Lenormand houses and um, or cards or get a deck out if you have one and first start by finding the 36 find something for each of the 36 and you can just cast with this these 36 and this is a great way to start to learn charm casting and work with charms and then start to add in other energies as you go. But I really strongly recommend having a core like this because I just think um, it really makes reading uh, pleasurable um, as well as easy and very precise. It's just fantastic. So, okay, there you go. I hope that you've enjoyed this um, in some way watching me pick through and figure out what I'm going to do here um, and sort of verify what I do have. I mean, that's how I do every so often. Like I said, I'll find something new, so I'll swap one in or out. Um, or I'm just finding, let's say, something just kind of keeps coming up with dead space. Like it just doesn't feel like it's saying anything. Um, I'll swap, take that out, maybe swap something else in. That, those are the, usually the reasons why, or I'm just in the mood for kind of sorting through them and figuring out what feels right at that moment. So, all right, I will talk to you all later.